What if we could measure how advanced a civilization is, not by their technology, but by how much energy they can control? The idea is simple. If a civilization uses some amount of energy, that usage sets a baseline for how advanced they are. That's the thought behind the Kardashev scale, a thought experiment proposed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. It starts with type one, a civilization that harnesses all the energy available on its home planet. That includes solar, wind, geothermal, everything. Humans, we aren't even there yet, he sitting around type 0.7. Then comes type two, a civilization that captures the total energy output of its star. Think Dyson Sphere a structure or swarm that collects solar power on a massive scale. Finally, we have Type 3. That's a civilization that uses the energy of their entire host galaxy, stars, black holes, everything. This is firmly in the realm of science fiction, but not impossible by the laws of physics. The scale isn't perfect. It doesn't account for how energy is used or if a civilization is stealthy or efficient. But it's a useful lens, not to say this is the future, but to ask what could be possible. Some have even proposed extending it. Type four, control over the energy of an entire universe. Type five, multiverse level civilizations, if such a thing exists and even beyond. We may never reach type two, but that's not the point. The Kardashev scale gives us a way to imagine long-term progress and what lies ahead if we don't destroy ourselves first. Follow for more space science explainers. If you'd like to support the content, check the links in my profile.